stick around. I'm gonna tell you guys what the Amish cabinet maker told me about the power bank. We'll be back in just a minute. What? 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 What, Gabby? Come here, Gabby. Oh, you're jealous. Come here, Gabby. Come here, Gabby. Oh, what are you showing off? You all pulling possums in the in the yard? Any dead deer lately? Huh? Come here, Gabby. Come here, Gabby. Come here, Gracie. Down. Come here, Gabby. Gabby. Yeah, stuck in your mouth, Gabby, or what? Come here, Gabby. <laughs> Come here. Come here. What you got? Let me see. Get it out. She doesn't want to let go of it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. And if you like the video, smash that like button. Hey, so it's the first day of fall. And it went from 97 yesterday um, to 65 right now with a miss. We need the rain so bad. It was pouring down in town earlier. I came home and we just got a little mist. Um, but any little bit helps, I guess. I was hoping we'd get that big downpour that they got, fill up the pond, get this dust down, but we didn't. It missed us. But I got something pretty interesting to share with you guys today, something cool. I haven't told you guys yet, I don't think. Um, but we ordered windows um, for the abandoned house. We're going to replace all the windows. And I ordered them from an Amish man, an Amish guy. And I'm going to attempt to go there today, hopefully load them up. They called me earlier. Almost got phones uh, whenever they want to uh, work, I guess. They're allowed to have phones and drive tractors and stuff. But um, anyways, the secretary called me, said the windows are done. So we're going to go over there, pick them up. I'll show you guys that. Then I'm going to take them back to the house, drop them off, kind of go from there. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Amish make windows. They do cabinets. Um, they build houses, barns. They do a little bit of everything, furniture. And it's usually really good quality work. So um, a lady that watches the channel is a local lady. Um, she has tons of rent houses in town. She stopped by one day, um, talked to us. She, and I told her about, I went to Lowe's um, to price windows and order them. But it was like a two month wait list. And she said, hey, come by, look at the windows I just got. I, I get them from an Amish man over in Shota, Oklahoma. I said, awesome. So we stopped by a couple days later and we liked them. They were pretty much just like the ones at Lowe's and like $60 a window cheaper and they're handmade. So I was like, it's a win-win. I love it. Um, help the local economy out and um, get to get to shop locally. And um, yeah, I think it's a win-win. So we're going to go pick them up. Let's go there, pick them up, see what they look like, see if they, hopefully they all fit. Hopefully this week we can start installing them. So in this video, we probably won't show install any, um, but definitely let's go pick them up. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I'm pulling up to the Amish window maker. I'm not sure where it'll have me loaded. I just brought my truck, so hopefully they all fit in the back. I cleaned it out somewhat. <laughs> it's got all my stuff in there from working everywhere. But I'll try to set the camera up just showing us um, loading them up maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Good. I'll get back there and move some stuff around. I forgot how long they was. Yeah. You guys starting to get caught up yet or what? <laughs> yeah, I think I can get over there. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate it. I'll bring that back to you probably in the next couple of days. You. If you're not here, I'll just leave it right there on the porch. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm not real sure if I got any good footage of us loading that, but there's 10 windows. They're longer than I remember ordering, but they're, they're right. I almost didn't make enough room in the back of my truck. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys seen us loading any or not. He, uh, he let me borrow one of his straps. So I'm going to bring it back in the next couple of days. And I usually got four straps in here, but uh, with us working three different spots seems like i just things get left in one spot and they didn't have ones so i had to borrow one of his so thankfully he had one i could use but now we're gonna i didn't tell you guys this i am having a cabinet maker that's amish an amish cabinet maker uh building us some cabinets too so i'm gonna go over there right now i'm trying to work out a little barter with the amish guy and um, i don't know if we'll be able to or not but i'm gonna drop off a power bank to him and uh, he's got to show it to his elders at the church 
I'm not real familiar with how all that operates, but uh, he's got to get it okay through them. You know, but yeah, so I'm trying to barter a power bank I have. You guys know I get power banks all the time. I usually give them to my friends and family. Um, but I was like, you know, I was talking to him whenever he came and measured everything. And he does have solar and he's running off two marine batteries. I'm on a back road, so we're safe here. Um, he runs off two marine batteries. And I explained to him what the power banks were. And he's like, oh, it's kind of like what I got is just inverter and all that all in one. And um, he was kind of... When I talked to him, I was like, hey, you might, we want to do a little bar. And he's like, yeah, maybe. Um, but then I talked to him again. He's like, I don't want to get in trouble with the church. Um, so what we worked out is I'm just going to drop him one off and let his elders, I call them elders, his people at the church look at it. And if it's something he's allowed to have, then I think we can work a deal out. And um, it'll, be, it'll be cool because it's going to make his life easier because it's the same thing he's using. But instead of like four different pieces scattered out through his place, it's all in one. Power bank's all in one. You guys know I show power banks all the time. And I got it in my back seat over here, you know. So I'm just going to go over there. I don't know if I'll be able to film any of that, but I'm going to go over here and just uh, drop it off to him. I told him I'd drop it off and let him take a look at it. I'm definitely not trying to get him in any trouble or pr pressure him into it. And I told him straight up, I said, either way, I want you to do the cabinets. But if this can help you out and help me out, it's a win-win. Um, even if he can't have them, I'm, I'm still going to use him and uh, pay the price that he's going. He's he offered me. But uh, he says he's here till 4:30. He's got a little phone set up too. Like, they can have phones at their workplace, and he has power to it. He's got a little cabinet shop up here. So I went and looked at some of his work. It looked, looked really good. I talked to the previous owner. This Amish guy happened to be here, and he trained this guy, and this guy ended up buying it. And um, he's doing cabinet building full time. Younger guy. I think he just got married too. I'm talking to him and stuff, but. All right, I'll let you guys know what he says. Now, all right, so let's go to the abandoned house, drop off these windows, and we can start installing them this week, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I got to take it easy. I don't want to break any windows. They were cheaper than Lowe's, but they're still not cheap. Well, we got some much-needed rain. I just hope it's over in our area, too. Well, I'm back at the abandoned house, and it's raining good. It'd be a good time to go in there and see if we got any leaks on the new roof and um, unload the window. So I think it's going to pass within the next 15 minutes or so. Let's go in the house. Let me talk to you guys about what um, the Amish uh, cabinet maker told me about the power bank. So let's go in there and talk and uh, see if there's any leaks. We haven't seen rain like this in a long time. Look at that. It's coming down good. I came out here to see if there's any leaks. And look what I found. <laughs> yeah, we sprung a leak for sure. We'll walk through the house. Now, we've done a lot of work on the house I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, there'll be a video out this week of showing you guys that, I hope. I'm still putting it together, editing and all that. It's a little bit longer of a video uh, to edit. But uh, let's go in there and I'll, and I'll try to show you, try to look around and see if there's any leaks with the new roof. I don't think there will be, but you never know. I hope we're getting this at home. We need that bad. Okay, a little sneak peek for you guys before I put the other video out. We've got the ceiling opened up. I'm, I've been looking for leaks off camera. I have yet to see anything, so that's good. Listen to you. Listen for a drip. I think the roof is excellent. I'm not seeing anything. I'm glad that I decided to go ahead and knock those off the top up there and they roofed over them because I think that was just going to cause us problems over the next years or whenever. I think we're good on leaks. Okay, I'm going to unload the windows. We'll be back in the morning to hopefully start installing some. I'll have to go get some more um, things um, for, like, for the trim and stuff to trim out the windows and all that. But let's get them unloaded real quick and uh, go from there. It's just a slight rain. These these are pretty dang big windows. I didn't realize it until I picked them up. Then I wasn't sure. Now we do have two smaller ones, but the other eight, pretty good size. All 
All right, let's see if we can get these out without breaking them. These are big. I'm gonna get myself even wetter. Whew. Boy, he knows how to make a window. That's heavy. Okay, I got uh, seven more of these big boys. Yep. Try to stack them right here. Yep, they're heavy. <laughs> oh gosh, these are heavy windows. Stick around. I'm gonna tell you guys what the Amish cabinet maker told me about the power bank. We'll be back in just a minute. Ah, 10 windows. That was a harder job than I was anticipating by myself because these are almost as tall as I am. You can see there are some big windows. And I only dropped one and it didn't break. Imagine that. What, you dropped one? Well, not completely, but it definitely hit the ground. <laughs> this one will be all right. So we got two right there, two of the smaller ones. I think one's a kitchen and the other one is, I'm not sure. But then we got all these big ones here. All right. You can see we got a mess, but I'm not gonna reveal everything we've done yet because I got a video coming out on it. So those are the Amish built windows for this abandoned house. Yeah, pretty dang cool. Let me show you guys. Well, I don't want to go too detailed with them. When we get them in the next day, we're not going to get them all in tomorrow, but we'll be working on them. Once we get them in, or at least one in, I'll show you all the what all they do. You can see in the background, kind of the stuff we got done. But yep, those are the Amish windows. Amish built. Should be built to last, right? Speaking of Amish, let me tell you about the deal I was trying to work out. Okay, so we're having... Um, the only thing we... Pre the big thing we lack on our house at the homestead is um, the cabinet doors and drawers. When we went to order these windows, I don't think I've told you guys this yet. When we went to order these windows, um, I asked the Amish guy, if um, the Amish window guy, if he knew anyone who built cabinets. And he said, yeah, right across the field. He said, well, okay, so I went and paid him a visit and he wasn't there. I actually talked to the previous owner and um, he said he, he's in Tulsa. They were doing a run or whatever, I don't know. And um, he would be back, just leave my number. So he, they had a little phone booth outside. So I left my number and Daryl called me that night, I think. And I told him what I had going on and um, told him I could come pick them up if I need to. So yeah, that'd be great. So I went and picked them up, brought them back to the house and he measured everything, like went over all the stuff we needed. And um, he said, yeah, this is something I can do. So he said, all right. I said, all right, that sounds good to me. So on the way back, me and Daryl were talking uh, just about life and about some of the things they do and all that stuff. And, and the um, conversation turned into off-grid power and um because he, he brought up that some of the people in the community have gotten solar uh refrigerators and i found that very interesting because i've never heard of a solar um refrigerator like a, he said a big solar refrigerator so basically what it, it, it is it's kind of like a power bank inside a refrigerator that you charge the power bank or batteries or whatever and it runs the refrigerator so on that subject, I said, hey, I said, speaking of, I said, I review a lot of, I said, I have a lot of power banks. I explained to him what it was. And he said, okay, so it's like an inverter, um, everything built in. I said, yeah, exactly what it is. And I said, would you be interested in maybe if I brought you one to look at and um, maybe we could do some trading? You know, um, he said, yeah, I'd be interested in that. And um, I said, okay, I'll, say, I'll, bring, I'll bring one by to you. And it was probably like a week later. I haven't got a chance to go up there yet. And um, he called me to tell me the bid on the cabinets. And I said, great. And I said, hey, what about that solar um, generator I got, the power bank? He said, hell yeah. He goes, I don't want to get in trouble from the church. And I said, okay, I completely understand that. And I said, I don't know anything really about the Amish as far as their rules and their church and stuff. I respect it. 
I said, I understand completely. I said, what if I just brought one by and if you're interested in it, then you just show your elders and get approval. And he said, yeah, that, that'd be okay. That'd be okay. Do that. Uh, so today was the day I was going to do that. So I, I took, um, went and got the, um, I didn't want to make a special trip up there. Um, so they're right next to each other, right? So I went and got the windows and I swung over to Daryl's cabinets. And um, I said, hey, man, I got that um, power bank. And he goes, okay, yeah. So I could kind of tell like he was a little weary, for, even from the phone call. And I get it, 100%. I understand that he's weary because he doesn't want to get in trouble for the technology and things like that, I guess. Um, so I took it, we took it in, and um, we tested a lot of all his power tools. I didn't think he think he could run it. And um, so it comes to find out, Daryl, I already knew this. He told me before, Daryl has two marine batteries at his house. And... Um, Marine batteries as in like for fishing boats and things like that. And um, he has two of them. He has an inverter and he has solar hooked up to it. So he's got solar coming into the batteries and he got the inverter hooked up so he could plug his refrigerator in and whatever else they run. I don't microwave, I don't know. And um, so essentially the same setup, but a power bank's all in one, right? You guys see me show a bunch of them over the years. Uh, I love getting them. I love showing you guys. A lot of you guys are interested in them. We're actually going to be having some power bank uh, coming up this at the end of this month that we're going to be showing um, working here on the house. So it's pretty cool. So I'm into this stuff, right? And a lot of you guys are too. And if you're watching my channel, you guys are into it too. So I was all excited to show him his stuff. And yeah, I didn't think he, I don't think he thinks it could have ran his, all his power tools. It ran every one of them. One of them even pulled a 3000 uh, surge. I actually showed him the old EcoFlow I've been using for a couple of years. And I said, Hey, if you're interested in this, I could bring you a newer one to trade out all this stuff. I just want to bring you this older one because I use it all the time. I know it's a good one, this, this, and that. And we tested every tool he had, and it ran every one of them flying colors. And then he's just like, man, he goes, he goes, I don't know. He goes, uh, I said, he goes, did you show, I can't remember the, the um, window guy's name, he, but he goes, did you show the window maker this? And I said, no. I said, I didn't tell him anything that we were trying, I was trying to work out with you. He's like, okay. I said, is that someone that you'd have to show it to? He's, you want, need to show it to someone in the church, the elders. He said, yeah, he's, he's the one I would show. And I said, okay. I said, well, I could go up there and show him. He's like, no. He's like, man, honestly, he goes, I probably better not. And uh, he's like, he goes, I love it. He goes, I think it's awesome. He goes, but I just better not. He goes, I think it's just going to be too convenient for uh, for us um, with the technology in it and everything like that. And that's kind of where I'm confused with the Amish um, religion and their rules and stuff. Because essentially he has this. And he said, he goes, I already got this, but it's just different. I said, I understand that. I, said, I get it. But what I don't understand is he was afraid that they might. For first, I said, are you afraid they're going to tell you no? He's like, I think they'd tell me I could probably use it. He goes, but he goes, that's what I'm afraid of. He goes, it's just a little too convenient for us. And I, 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 don't, even, I don't even want to be tempted. So I don't know if he thinks he's going to be tempted by the technology. I don't know. I don't understand their thinking when it comes to that because they've already got, they got solar refrigerators. They got telephones outside of their building for work. And then, uh, so I don't understand, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I respect what he, I respect him as far as, like, he didn't want to mess with us. I said, that's fine, man. I just thought I'd show it to you and we work something out. No big deal. And I told him from day one, like, regardless if you want to do a deal, I'm still going to use you and pay you your, whatever your bid is because I need, I need it done. So he knew that going in. Uh, but uh, with that being said, he started talking about, he's like, man, I can't believe this power bank, it's um, actually ran this sander. That sander pulled like 3,100 amps. He goes, I, my he goes, my little generator when we run it because he has generators in this other room. And I was like, all right, let's take a look. So he, he we opened this door, this, this room that goes outside, but it's enclosed. And he had five Predator generators. This he goes. So I'm, I'm I was like, wow, you got five generators out here. He had each size, I think. And he showed me the little one, and we kind of looked at it and stuff. And um, but uh, I was like. There's really no difference between having those generators and this one. And um, this one would be convenient, and he didn't want the convenience of it. So I get it, I guess. But I don't understand their thinking when it comes to certain rules. So if you guys are familiar with the Amish community, the Amish rules or mindset, leave us some comments down below. Um, was he just was he nervous that maybe the people in the community would maybe shun him? Because I know that's a big deal. You do not want to get shunned in the community. That's that's not good for for them. I've I've watched videos and read stuff ab about that, so I know that's not good. But you leave me some comments down below if you guys are, are familiar with that at all, because I want to help. I want I want to understand this more. We had some good conversations too, um, the first time just about life in general, and um, it, you know, like if something happened to the country and. 
they took the grid out and there's no power, how their community could survive and stuff. Well, then I was talking to him. I said, are you guys on well? Because I got well at the house. He's like, no, actually, we're not. I said, really, Where, where's your water source? He goes, oh, we're hooked up to the city. So they're all hooked up to the city water anyways. I'm like, this is just weird to me. It's just weird. Doesn't re- uh, my, my thinking before is that they're 100% off grid. They did, I, I knew they had propane. A lot of them were run propane for light inside their house and they're cooking and even maybe a propane dryer and things like that. But I never thought they would ever be on city water. So then I brought up, man, what if something happens to the, to the water? What if, what if the water is contaminated in the city? And it comes out to you guys and he goes, man, I don't know. He goes, because none of us have wells. So then I, that, then I just started like snowballing my head like, man, maybe the Amish aren't as prepared as I used to think just talking to him. You know, I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's that's the story. Um, we didn't end up working a deal out for a barter, um, which I'm perfectly fine with. It would have been cool to save some money and get him a little bit better set up. But it is what it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably wasn't real long, but we got the windows for the house, so stay tuned for this week. Hopefully, we'll start installing them. I'll have a video out pretty soon about a lot of stuff that we've been going on in there. And um, it looks way different than you guys seen it last. I showed you a little glimpse of it, but that's just a little glimpse. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Love to have you guys here. Hey, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.